So we pretty much get to explore everywhere in this place. Well, almost everywhere. Um, I'm gonna start over here. This radio is so cool. You actually get to see this radio a couple more times than in different other games. Um, let's see, we could get to look over here. Look at all that jewelry. Woo! So, this is actually a pretty cool place. You can look at this, actually. Worldwide Broadcasting Prop Room Policies Memo. No one is permitted in the prop room at any time except for those people permitted. All props must be signed out with the proper authorization from the prop master. Anyone found in the prop room without the proper authorization will relinquish any or all prop room privileges. Wow. That's harsh. Um, let's see. Yes, we can look at this. Um, I know that there's actually a message in this because there are because some of the musical notes are blue. I have not been able to figure it out just because I, I'm i lazy. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys can pause it and figure it out yourself. That's something to do with music. Um, and again, there's a message on the border. Uh, let's see. The answer lies beneath your something eyes ooh hey hi <laughs> ooh what's this ooh treasure chest what's in here ooh hey what does this say move the rings over one by one your mo your moves can always be undone. Smaller ones must go first. Large over small is an instant curse. Move the rings to another side. With success, the key will unhide. Ooh. This is basically called the Hanoi Tower. I never understood. I never realized that until, I guess, uh, when I played this game a couple years ago after playing a different one. Oops. Uh. The click of this is really weird. It's always it's always confuses me. But you have to click and hold, otherwise, and it's a little difficult to get the things maneuvered as well. Oh, gosh dang it. Okay. So what we're basically doing is getting all of these to over here, and we're almost halfway through. Oh, gosh dang it. Okay. Boing, ba boing, ba boing. Awesome. Uh, let's see. So we want to get that one over here. Dun dun dun. Oh, gosh dang it. Oh, no, I did that right. Okay, sweet. We actually get to uh, play this type of game, this type of mini puzzle again in um, uh, Castle of Malloy. Castle Malloy. That's actually a pretty fun game, too. And look, we got the piece for that key, or for that. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Before we leave this room, we need to grab one of these. I always forget to do that. What's this? Bagpipes! What's this over here? Gargoyle! Hi! Dun 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 dun. Birdcage. Must be some sort of reference to the. Which one is it? Number seven? That one, that is so cool. Reminds me of Scooby-Doo. Ooh. So this is actually kind of a mini puzzle. I mean, you don't have to do it, but it gives you something to do in case you're like just taking your time with the game. So let's see. Number one across, discovered, found, 
which means two down is death, two down loss of life, three down lost, five across sinister warnings, threats, uh, four down use caution, beware, uh, so that means six across a device used to catch something, trap, seven across violent anger, wrath, which means seven down is watch, look at this, <laughs> Eight across, or eight down, sorry. Bomb. Adam is one. Yeah, Adam bomb. Yikes. Ten across, timepiece. Eleven across. A lock, stock, and barrel. That's a phrase? Okay. Nine down, haven't got a clue! A clue, a clue! Thirteen across, and pieces of, or fragments broken. 12 down, lock and locker key. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty, and we can also go over here and over there. Let's go over here. I think that's a pretty dragon. Do 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 gumball! Do do. Hey, I see that her interactive. Cool. Yeah, her interactive likes to put themselves in the game a couple, uh, plenty of times. You'll see that throughout the different games. This is Curse of Writing. This is actually, I think, for something else. I just random reading that you can do. Ooh, oil can. <gasps> yeah, the brown recluse. I think that was a brown recluse. I don't know. Boing, ba boing. It's locked. We can't get in there. Meh. Ooh, cash register. Dude, there's a laptop. Hi. Wait. STFD. <laughs> That's short for stay tuned for danger. Dun 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 dun. US mail? Ooh, there's something in here. Nancy! Oh, Pine Hill Foundation. Dear Mrs. Strathorn, what? It's time again for our annual celebratory auction for the Hollow Oak Children's Home, which will be held at Blackwood Hall on December 27th. We would appreciate any items you can't you care to donate from the famous set of Light of Our Love. Last year's donations were quite popular and raised much needed funding for the home. May we suggest Serena Livingston's ivory charm given to her by Rory Danner, or perhaps Serena's spider sapphire pin worn on their first date. Are you serious? Would you be willing to donate the brass bound trunk from the original Light of Our Love set? We're sure it would be a very valuable addition to the auction. Thank you in advance for your donation. On another note, we are all big fans of Maddie Jensen and hope that the rumors about Rick Ar Arlen's departure won't cancel the show. Oh boy. I did not, I never finished reading that letter actually. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. So we can actually also check out this little area. Ooh. And this is also a code. I had hoped to have actually solved this by the time you guys, uh, well, I guess I will actually take the time to, uh, let me do something actually by the time this video is up I will make sure that there is something at the bottom telling you guys what it translates to whoops so let's see what else is in this book silver compact let's see what hasn't been checked in yet camera cool um, umbrellas violin bow black velvet box silver tea service Ski mask, ski mask, hacksaw, boxing gloves, fire poker, police line tape, white shock. Okay, Serena and Serena's wedding veil. What? Oh boy. Something tells me that their wedding day is not going to be very pretty. What's this? Ooh, Millie, WWB 1958. Wonder what that means. And then what's this sticking out? Prop room missing items. 
Fake beard and mustache. What? Spirit gum adhesive. Me <laughs> Maracas? Really? 3D glasses. Alarm clock. Hacksaw. Letter opener. Tape recorder. Tape recorder? Oh my gosh. This explains so much. So what's this? The typewriter drops its Y. Fillion suffers from amnesia after suffering a concussion from a falling rat, and Rory Danner is accidentally poisoned to death from poorly placed rat poison. Soon after the arrival of this... She never finished. Unpowder my nose! Achoo! Alright, well... Alrighty then. Uh, I am... Let's see. What can we do, actually? Ooh, I know what we can do. Let's get in here. Alrighty. Uh, we are going to check out what time the clock is supposed to be set. That one. Now that we have this oil can, we can probably oil this up. Ooh. What? Oh boy. I think that's actually where it came from. Yeah, I think that is where it came from. Oh boy. Wait, I think I saw something. I want to go back up there, because I think I saw something. Whoa, cool! I didn't realize I could, I could do that. That's cool. Oh, sweet! I didn't realize we could do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. Oh, those are the chairs. I'm an idiot. <sighs> that was pretty cool, though. I got to see part of the game that I never really checked out. So, I... Could this key go over here? Ooh, it does! But, I can't see. I don't- Ooh. I don't know where- what it's supposed to be set at. Beside, because we can't even see inside. All right, let's see if we can talk to Lillian one more time. It's you again. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. You do that. Again, Mimi. Alrighty. Oh, wrong way. All right, so. That's actually one thing that, that I think is pretty cool. You can go one direction, but you can't the other direction. Basically means that you're at a dead end. <laughs> I'm actually going to go to Maddie's room. It's open. Hi, Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left from my stage right. Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me a part, just like that. 
Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me the time of day. That's pretty cool. Has he been an agent for a long time? Actually, he and I were struggling actors, doing summer stock, community theater. I went on to do Juliet with Rick, and Dwayne came to the city to start his own talent agency. That's I guess cool. he'd had enough of the acting scene. I guess one way to find out is to ask him, right? That's a pretty big leap from acting to being a talent agent. <laughs> Not for Dwayne. He's like a chameleon. He can fill any role. At the Belfry, he did everything. It was amazing. Sales, makeup, carpentry, acting. But I sometimes wonder if he's cut out to be an agent. Right. What do you mean? Well, Rick wasn't very satisfied with Dwayne's handling of his contract with Worldwide. And now... Rick is pressuring me to use another talent agent, one that can get me a movie contract and a better deal here. Sometimes I wonder if it would be a smart move. It's just that I feel loyal to Dwayne. That's good. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Break a leg! I actually never had that conversation with her before. That was actually refreshing. Entrez-vous? Oh, that's right. We haven't met Rick yet. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? 